Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Herring and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Gillette and Ketchum campaign, We Believe. Gillette's We Believe ad was the winner of the Corporate Social Responsibility Award from PR Week. It was released in January of 2019 and the initial ad was released as a film on YouTube. This ad took Gillette's 30-year-old tagline of the best a man can get and turned it into a question. Is this the best a man can get? In light of the Me Too movement, Gillette wanted to ask how men can do better than what we are seeing today and challenges these behaviors of toxic masculinity. The ad depicts boys bullying, men objectifying women, and men looking in the mirror as you hear news reports about the Me Too movement playing in the background. It uses the common phrase of boys will be boys over and over as an excuse for these bad behaviors. Then it says something finally changed. As we see news reports about the Me Too movement across networks. In response, it shows men actively stopping bullying and harassment and shows men being good fathers and role models. The voiceover says, we believe in the best in men and that's why men need to hold other men accountable because the boys of today will be the men of tomorrow. Gillette and Ketchum's goal with this campaign was to inspire conversations about the best a man can be. With all of the news of the Me Too movement, Gillette began conducting, conducting focus groups and surveys where they heard many times from men, I'm not a bad guy, I just don't know how we can be the best version of ourselves. They wanted to get conversations started about masculinity and what it means to be a good man in today's world and about rejecting that bad behavior. They also wanted to expand their audience with this campaign. This ad was not only targeted at men, but also at women. Gillette's consumers are mainly 60 to 70% male, but it does also create um, razors for women. Not only that, but women are still the primary buyers for the household, so it makes sense to market towards mothers who are buying for husbands and these sons that will be the men of tomorrow. That is also targeting millennials and Gen Z who are most embracing this change in masculinity. Not only that, but research shows that consumers are interested in more than just a brand's products. They wanna know what the brand believes in, what issues the brand cares about, and what they take a stance on. One of Gillette and Ketchum's main strategies in this campaign was to use social media to create conversations among consumers about the ad. Gillette did not initially respond or facilitate any of the discussion that was caused by the ad under the advisement of Ketchum. They did not defend the ad or confront criticism and what began as backlash and a negative response turned positive. They created the hashtag, the best a man can be, and let their audience take over the conversation on social media. The film received a lot of conversation on social media, especially on Twitter, where some people loved it and some hated it, but they were all talking about it. The We Believe campaign became the number one trending topic on Twitter in the US. Many people were outraged by the ad and vowed to boycott Gillette like actor Piers Morgan, who tweeted that he was a longstanding customer and was boycotting their absurd ad and said, let men be men and let boys be boys. Some claimed the ad insulted men who were customers for years and that Gillette was trying to emasculate them. They called it gender shaming, insulting and offensive. The ad was mocked and parodied by people on social media. Men were outraged and said the ad implied being a man was toxic and it was overly politically correct. Others praised the ad for its call to action for the example it was setting for young boys. People on Twitter fired back at those who hated the ad, that they were the very reason for the ad and that if it offends them, then they are the one who needs to have these conversations and take a look at themselves. 
What began as one of the most disliked brand films on YouTube became one of the, the most liked and received over 100 million views across platforms. The ad struck a chord with consumers and Gillette experienced double digit growth for online sales and the campaign generated more than 10,000 earned media stories. Within just hours of releasing the film on YouTube, Gillette and Ketchum reached its goal by being at the center of the conversation on masculinity on a global scale. Gillette's ad, we believe, was created based on the idea that they believe that being a good man not only rejects bad behavior, but is also about being a role model for good behavior. <clears throat> this ad was risky for Gillette, but it paid off. They were not afraid to take a stance on an issue and hold true to that. Gillette has continued this campaign with an ad called The First Shave, where a transgender man shaves for the first time, continuing their involvement in this conversation on masculinity and what it means to be a man today. Gillette has taken a step further beyond that and vowed to donate $1 million every year for the next three years to nonprofit organizations that help men of all ages and promote positive role models. The We Believe campaign became a number one trending topic on Twitter. It received over 10,000 earned media stories and it drove online sales. The campaign also positioned Gillette as a brand that takes a stance on social issues, broadening its typical audience from just their, the masculine man and opening it up to their brand toward women and the LGBTQ community. Overall, this was a really great ad and a successful campaign. Thank you for listening.